Hi. Hello, <laughs> hello. Hello. So we are doing a special thing. This is our um, end of the year stream, having fun, just hanging out, chatting, talking about the animes of the year. All of them. Uh, and <laughs> all of them and the thoughts. Actually, I was going through uh, the, the year's anime and there were a lot. Yeah, there were. <laughs> it was really big. Hey, Kenrono, good to see you. Glad to see you in chat. Um, yeah, it's it's good to be back. It's good to be doing things. Um, so yeah, this, this should be fun. We're just going to chat in general about the year in anime. I have some AMVs to show, uh, which I think will be fun. Um, as I mentioned um, on the announcement video, one of the nice things about this platform is I can show anything. Um, yes. So I'm not going to abuse that. You know, we're not going to stream the boy <laughs> in the heron or anything. Um, you know, but uh, yes, we can we can have a little bit more fun video wise with that um yeah, i, 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 I kind of don't feel some like youtube apparition like smacking me in the <laughs> back of my head going yeah. stop it stop it exactly it's, it's very pleasant it's very pleasant <laughs> not to feel that exactly yes um so how have you guys been it's been a couple of weeks since we streamed yes yes it has it's been a couple it's of months since we streamed, actually. Actually, I was going to say, it's been a little while. It's been a little while. It's been, it's been a little while since we talked. It's been quite some while since we streamed. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a holiday season. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it, you know, since the last time that we streamed, it's been like the entirety of like fall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's gone. Yeah. Um, gosh, yeah, there's, there's, it's, it's been a, it's been a year. It's been quite the busy year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. I I joined up. Um, I, I don't know if I talked this last in the last stream that we did, but mm. I joined a Beyond Video in here in Baltimore, where Ooh. it is an actual video store, and mm -hmm. um, very re very re reminiscent of American Video uh, Video American, which was this like huge, kind of like um, um, independent. Uh, 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 of films like you can find mm. anything there criterion collection everything it was just a really neat place you can actually look it up on online it's beyond mm. video and so i so i've been going there i've been watching stuff and i've been able to find things that, that that i don't normally find somewhere else and so this week i i i got three videos i'm just want to go through them real quick yeah uh Kuro, Kuro Neko, Kuro Neko? Uh, yeah like so that. basically this is set in feudal japan boring states okay. period a mother dark and a daughter cat. are, yeah, dark black cat. Um, mother, daughter are killed by itinerant samurai. You know, they're just being, okay. rah, rah, you know, stabby, whatever. Mm. And um, so they come back as ghosts with the fog and do things. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So, and, yeah, yeah. Um, I cannot just look up Kuro Neko anime because I get the character. Uh, from Kuro, Neko, yeah. From <laughs> Oremo. Um, right. Yeah. That's the Rory. Yes. So, so this is live action 1968. Okay. Uh, by the way. Um, now, have you guys ever had like a favorite director and you watch all their stuff? Like, there's like one or two movies that like mm. you're like you've watched it, but you're not you've never really done a deep dive on the other stuff like you have on yeah. the other stuff. Mm. So for me, that's Satoshi Kon's Millennium Actress. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm gonna yeah. be watching that and kind of get a little bit more more situated because this is the one movie that the one thing of his that I'm just like I've seen it, I know it, but it's it's not like I'm not like the other stuff like Paprika or whatever. Mm. I'm just like. Okay, so that means this da da da, da you know, yeah. Yeah, that kind of thing. In fairness, I've Millennium Actress is one. much more of his kind of um, easier to yeah. absorb right. kind of movies. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Unlike Paprika or, or, <laughs> or Paranoid Agent or, 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 or Blue, yeah, yeah some of that blue. stuff. And and this last movie that I got um, is uh, a, a, a independent movie that um, has been snubbed by the um, by the awards people out there you know nobody actually you know would, would give it an award or anything and it's actually gotten two sequels on it so there's actually three uh, trilogy hmm. i think of this Ooh, naked um, and it's, no 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 <laughs> but it's it's a very interesting thing and it's one of the things where i was when i was at the store i'll make this quick i was at the store and it'd be on video and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna pick the next movie that just just pops out mm -hmm. at me and so i this mm -hmm. thing popped out at me read about it and i was like okay this is great in the movie let's 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 do this and it's um it's it's the critically acclaimed death toilet and okay yeah so 
So, um, and you can tell that this is quality stuff. Yes, I was just gonna say. Know, oh yeah, this is this is rentable, and uh, apparently the cast is like four people, and okay. it's it's um some dude's brother dies, and he's clean, and he's kind of you know cleaning up the house so to speak, and he discovers that, as the descriptor goes. And the toilet may be the embodiment of Satan. <laughs> so. It often is. Yeah. So. Wow. <laughs> so, so if you guys are wondering what I've been doing the past few days, hey, there you go. There you go. There we are. How about you, Brent? <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> I was just like, wow, we're so underwhelmed, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Death toilet. Yeah, how do you follow Thanks. that much up? Um, that went up. I, I can um, tell that Brent is just stunned with the idea of death toilet. <laughs> exactly. Um, What's well, um. I got on a kick recently of watching reaction videos because um, I've been not quite off work this past week, but it's been a very quiet week, right. um, as you might imagine. So uh, we were just kind of chilling out, and uh, I started watching people reacting to Perfect Blue. <laughs> um, oh, my God. And I cannot express how joyous it is <laughs> for people whose you know film experience is like Marvel movies, and they hear about this this cartoon oh, movie God. called Perfect Blue, oh, no. and they start watching it, and they're like, "Right, yeah." They, they're, they're they're probably, like, like you see a little bit of blood coming out of the ear, <laughs> exactly, or yeah. maybe the you know I just like I'm trying to understand, and, I, and you know, and like talk about a Satoshi Kon movie you don't want to start with, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and it's it's cool too because and maybe this is just the recommendation engine, but all of the ones I watched, like they understood oh okay this is a movie that is breaking down what a movie is you know and they they, right. they quickly understood kind of the, the premise and so forth but they still had no you know they were just okay was that real was yeah. was this was that was that real i mm, um what was just, this satoshi code was yeah. satoshi code real we don't know <laughs> exactly. it's collective hysteria we have no idea <laughs> yeah um well the other thing is um um that i know has happened in the past couple of weeks which i would love to talk to you guys about oh. is john i believe you went to see the boy in the heron i did oh how was it i went the day after christmas because mm. i'm stupid <laughs> oh <laughs> So? Okay, let's. Just, the theater itself was mm -hmm. not a problem. Yeah, it's the fact that the theater is right adjacent to the mall, and okay. everybody oh. post Christmas apparently people still return things and still oh, do yeah. exchanges mm -hmm. and all this. So there's just people everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> and in the theater, which. You know, these these are the new days. Old days, you bought a ticket, you sat wherever the hell we wanted to. It didn't oh, yeah. Matter. Right, right. So now you go and you buy a seat. Well, people were a little on edge after Christmas holiday. Mm. So I'm sitting in my assigned seat. I, you know, I got there early enough to the theater. So I had the good center mm. seat, like perfect right. view of the, yeah. of the screen. Good, good. All the way around. People come in sit to my right people come in sit to my left people sitting in the left then start getting into this oh they're sitting in our seats what, what do, should we do something about it and i'm like oh boy <laughs> okay i'm i'm trying to get like ready to get into the film you know they're, they're starting the credits well we really should say something we got more people coming blah blah blah, blah. Mm. well there's a guy sitting here and i'm like thinking the guy is me <laughs> and i'm right be sitting can we can we get over this and it just mm. they escalated it and then went over and we're uh, went and approached the other people before the film started mm -hmm. and those people were like well somebody's sitting in our seats too and it's like oh geez <laughs> everybody better work this out because i don't have christmas stress but i'm gonna beat you all down <laughs> <laughs> so they did settle their their differences because it was not a full theater oh okay, you know yeah. what i mean no, right, Where yeah i had the best middle seat so the mm. only choices they had were flanks of me and up or or below, they could have gone like two rows mm. below and still had a great seat. But fuck, whatever. So that was an interesting start to it. Then watching, getting into watching mm. the, the latest Ghibli film was just mm -hmm. like, okay, now I'm ready. Yeah. I'm set for this. There we go. Yeah, it was. I enjoyed it. I can I can mm -hmm. see definitely where there's a lot of mirroring Miyazaki's uh, life in there, where it's mm -hmm. like. Nice. It's okay. It's a wartime experience growing up, the sort of mm -hmm. fantastical 
sort of if you're not taking this literal, you know, fantastical world existing, the idea of escaping the reality of the times by having vivid imagination. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, you know, I can see that. I, I'm yeah. curious to the the Heron Man. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's that is an interesting, not an unexpected transformation, but it's an interesting uh, transformation that I now I'm curious about the book that Miyazaki was inspired mm -hmm. to uh, yeah. come up with this, so that I can see how that how that sort of comes around. Like, so yeah, mm -hmm. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah. I, I I I had a great time trying to then get out of the theater. <laughs> <laughs> is it a film you do want to like go back and rewatch and kind of you know comprehend? I'm good. I would need a physical copy because I I don't think I could take it apart enough in rewatching in the theater mm -hmm. because I need I would need to sit down with it to stop it and be like yeah mm -hmm. okay what the hell is that supposed to mean like crawling through I think the little caterpillar thingies and the little little things wandering mm -hmm. out those look like omu so I can mm -hmm. understand yeah, yeah, yeah. that mm -hmm. there's some homage elements to it and it's too hard on the screen to look and see if there are other Ghibli film Easter eggs no, that yeah. I can I can readily identify. So, so what you're saying, you say you weren't able to go to the camera operator and go, hey, can you, can you stop <laughs> that? Because I need to take a look at this far corner over here. Yeah. I'm a very important YouTube personality. Yes. <laughs> I'm an influencer. I have no followers, but it's bound, <laughs> bound to jump up any minute now. Mm. Um, but it's one of those things where it's like there's photographs, there's pictures, there's things <clears throat> in that in that worldscape. There's vistas that are that are yeah. shown. There's stuff going on in there that I, I I don't I don't know how to interpret the significance of that thing in the even with the, you were right, Brent, the pacing is nigh on the glacial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of opportunity to absorb what's going on there. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the scenes do continue moving that I can't I can't pick out things in what's mm -hmm. going on effectively mm -hmm. to be like, oh, I get that reference now. Oh, yeah, yeah that's uh, this makes sense to me why you did that. Yeah. So, yes, I would like to see it again. I'd love for us to sit down at some point when it becomes available. Yeah. Commercially um, and then yeah. go through it and pull it apart. Because mm -hmm. I, I think there's I think there's a lot of interesting things going on yeah. there. So agreed. Unfortunately, I life intervened and I couldn't get to see the movie. Sure. But I did try to check out the book oh. from the library. Yeah, and there are. Well, I am happy to say that here in Baltimore at the Enoch Pratt Free Library, there are a, quite a few people who are waiting in line to read the book. Okay, uh, yeah, that that okay. is that that people are interested enough, and I think I I think I'm like the fourth person. Uh, okay, to, to okay. Line, in in line. Cool. So what my game plan is, of course, to read the book and then, as as you put yeah. it, John, you know, once we you know get it in my grubby little hands, yeah. and, you know, <laughs> watch it so that I don't have to scream at people to the left or right of me as I'm sitting in my perfect seat and going, "Shut up! I need to know. <laughs> Stop the camera!" You know. Yeah. So <laughs> I can just do that at home. Of course, mm -hmm. I don't think the pretty lady who gives me food would like to be told shut up. But so, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do want to read the idiot. book. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I do want to, but I was like, okay, so I'm going to read the book and then, you know, I'll have that foreknowledge so right. that when I am able to sit down and watch it, see where the correlations kind of weave their way in yep, and, and, and go from there. But, for, but for from Miyazaki what I, went straight ahead, straight ahead, left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Following you, following you. Ah, wall. Okay. Where yeah. did you go now? Where, where, where? Um, so yeah. So once I get to, to sit down, hopefully I will have read that, uh, influencing nice. influencing book yeah cool and it is very nice again and i said this before after having seen bell and having seen mm. slime and having seen Mook and train i love the fact that we've got these films yeah. in the theater mm -hmm. so, you know what a great great year for having things come to theaters mm -hmm. that now it's not waiting for it to be uh, netflix or crunchyroll or you know wherever else hulu high dive blah 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 right um, that we can actually go to a theater, sit down, and watch a Japanese animated film in a theater like regular, normal human beings, not like yeah. shutting trolls. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all over. Yeah. 
general release. I was impressed. It was at the Art House Theater a few blocks mm-hmm. away from me. Mm-hmm. And at like the AMC <clears throat> Regal Theater. Yeah. And the Art House closed it out after two weekends. Mm-hmm. And it's still running at the Regal AMC. I'm mm-hmm. like, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is not these not like the ones I've completed about before where it's like, oh, it's showing up Thursday night at 7 p.m. <laughs> right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. Like, well, I, I, I'm I'm still burned about my own art house when they said, "Oh, we're going to have Cowboy Bebop the movie when it was released," and I went there and they're like, "Oh, we didn't have enough interest, so we decided not to do it." I'm like, "Ah, why?" Well, Boy and Heron did get shortlisted. Uh, Boy and Heron did get shortlisted for the Oscars, so <gasps> oh, that oh, also oh, might oh, have oh. be a reason why it's yeah. being pulled back in. It also won. Um, some award. Uh, there were a few news stories this week. I would like to, to us to talk about okay. at some point, actually. Um, but an official the Miyazaki is retiring time. after this award. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh. My goodness. Um, um, uh, so Florida Critics Circle um, announced their um, best picture on Thursday, and it was Boy in the Heron. Oh, nice. Dang, nice. The best okay. picture period. First ever... Um, time in an animated film has won that award. So nice. it's pretty nice. Um, so to answer uh, Captain Lazarus' question in chat, is this Miyazaki's last film? This has been a thing that actually, actually we knew, know more and more about now as like Suzuki has been doing more interviews. Um, basically, um, uh, there was actually an interview with him like I think that last week, which actually touched on this um, exactly, which is Miyazaki did intend to retire before Boy in the Heron. Um, he didn't just pretend not to. But according to Suzuki, and I love this, um, uh, they started working on the Red Turtle, uh, which if you guys don't know, uh, watching was a, I believe, a French co-production with Studio Ghibli, where Ghibli helped out with a lot of the animation. It's a beautiful animated film. Um, and apparently while they were working on that, Miyazaki came up to Toshio Suzuki and said, well, do you really want the last Studio Ghibli movie to be made by you know, a, a non-Japanese director. Shouldn't we really have the last film be by a Japanese director? And Suzuki said, kind of turned to him and said, what do you mean? And he's like, I, I'm just, just, just say it, just say it. Um, <laughs> and then while Suzuki said they were, while they were editing the Red Turtle, he kind of, Suzuki was kind of had this thought and he, he turned around and saw Miyazaki just kind of hovering <laughs> off to one side. <laughs> um, and then, Waiting. Right. And then, He's like, he came up and he said, honestly, I'm embarrassed. Like, I made such a big deal about retiring. I don't want to come out of retirement and, you know, seem like a complete idiot. And Suzuki said, well, I do want to say one thing. I've seen a lot of directors come out of retirement and do a last gasp. And almost none of them live up to the hype. Yeah. Uh. So if you want to do this, like... Think about it seriously. Wow. <laughs> Suzuki said, and he proceeded to completely ignore me and plan his next film. <laughs> <laughs> For the next three months, like, you know, plotting out part A of the boy in the hair. Okay, fine. Um, so, okay. yes. So, um, this does seem like Miyazaki kind of saying, yeah, I'm exhausted. I don't want to do any more movies. Honestly, it might happen again, but I do think he's kind of reaching that point in his life where he's like, ah, <laughs> I don't know how much more of this I can do. Um, but yes, we'll see. I was going to say, I, I, I know I stayed through the <clears throat> credits and I watched through to the very end and I saw Goro was in there. I'm like, hey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, <clears throat> yeah. I, 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 it, now let me ask you this, John. Does this feel to you like Miyazaki's intending it as his like big final film, his swan song. His swan song. Um, hmm. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't feel like very end of days kind of thing like you know all you know the you know nice sunset everything there is that Mm. joyous completion to this yeah i i wouldn't say that it's telegraphing the punch but i could see if you said nope this is it 
it you know mm. the way that the film wraps up this is this is you know the film is that element of me and the way yeah. that this is wrapped up very nicely at the end i can comfortably walk away and say yep that's like my career you know it started out went it ran things happened and it wraps up nicely at the end i'm very pleased with what i've done thank you i, I could see it being used that way but i don't i don't necessarily feel like it's him making a i'm done bye <laughs> right <laughs> oh. sure what was your feeling on it towards the end of it the more i think about it the more i can see it as a swan song really um because hmm. I, I think it is out of all these elements of miyazaki's life he's telling a story um funnily enough another thing suzuki said is that um um miyazaki came and said i i want to make this um autobiographical and uh suzuki said well Honestly, stories about young boys don't sell very well right now in Japan. Um, it's more about you know girls and teams and groups and so forth and so on. He said, so if you're going to do that, my one request is that you have a lot of other characters. Um, and you kind of you know flesh it out with a big cast. Don't just make it you know my solo life, which right. Miyazaki did do, surprisingly. Um, but I do think there's a, a thing for that. Um, I think there's a way of doing that. Um, um, yeah, I think it's it just it feels like there's a lot of um, references to other Ghibli films, a lot of kind of yeah. him telling the story of his life, kind of that that final autobiography. Um, I don't think he is incapable of making another film, and I don't think that is kind of the intent of the film. Right. But I think he's making it as though like, okay, I get one more try at this. Right. Let me make sure it's really, 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 you know. Um, something special. Well, I mean, you you've read more into Miyazaki and, and his method. Is he necessarily, if he retires doing this front line, is he amenable to the idea of being like, okay, give us some of your ideas, Miyazaki, that never really you know got mm, off the map. Right. You tell us, we're going to yeah. run with it. And we'll just. We'll come to the you know to your dacha and like show it to you. And if you're mm -hmm. like, hey, that looks cool, then we I, go away, and then yeah. you're attached as mm -hmm. as you know consulting or a co yeah. co director based on a story by <clears throat> right. Yeah, I mean, because that's an easy way for him to get mm -hmm. out of the trench, and yet still be able to like yeah. kind of help to craft he, some of these stories. So so Miyazaki seems to me like some of the people that I've dealt with in the in the theater world. <clears throat> when they start backing out of it and they start mm. stopping doing what they're doing, they never leave. They never leave. Yeah, I was going to say. They, yeah, you know, they they never it's really leave. So I I, I I think you got a good point there, because <clears throat> I think that he has. So, I mean, Brent, you and I have talked about this at at, at, at nauseum. Um, there's so much out there that he's just done. Okay, here's an idea. Sketch it on the paper. Okay, here you go. It's in the pile. You know, so, <laughs> you know literally. So there's yeah. probably like a room or a vault mm. somewhere where someone's going to open it up and all these ideas are just going to come out. But, uh, yeah, right. You know. But you know, like, like for example, that that book that you had, Brent, that mm -hmm. that I read, the you know, um, that was very much like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, I was like okay this could totally be an ODA this could totally be a movie this could be totally something but you know to your point John I think he this is the last thing where it's just like for him it's for him to be able to say this is my fingerprints mm -hmm. on right. this and this is the thing the last thing that I do from beginning to end mm -hmm. and then from there on out I I, I will be yeah. the revered old man you know <laughs> and see that people gain you know you know mm -hmm. it's kind of like you know go to the guy who's who created everything and just get the blessing to do the right. thing that you know that they want to do but I can't imagine like like for example I, I don't think the art style is gonna go away. I don't think right. you know you know that kind of stuff, and I think well, there, he he's had so many story he has so many stories that I think he would probably totally be like, yes, this is my story. Please run with it, and let me well, make my money. But that's the other thing. <laughs> like Studio Ghibli is technically shutting down, yeah. right? Like they keep trying to kind of spin down Studio Ghibli because they're like, we just don't want to keep doing this forever. Um, like, do they say um, that's nice? But no. <laughs> yeah like we could keep keep spinning it off and doing stuff and so forth but we're just gonna say okay we're done we're gonna move on um i don't know 
Yeah, I, I don't know what 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 would yeah. what would we all do yeah. without like, a studio Ghibli? Like, <laughs> like, John, to your point, like I I think he should do that. I think he should do exactly what you suggested. I don't think he will. That'll that will that will mm -hmm. have to see because he'd actually yeah. have to retire for that to be. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, Kanemono makes a good point in chat. He's done some manga post retirement. Mm -hmm. uh, he did manga, you know, he did Nausicaa, obviously, yep. uh, and lots of other stuff in Shuna's journey and so forth. So maybe he moves into manga. I would not be opposed to that. Still no. a demanding, a demanding mm -hmm. schedule, demanding field for a man yeah. who is getting on in years. But I mean, he could do what he did with uh, Anime Age and just say, you know, I'll give you something when I'm done. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, you know, he, and then you get he, an extra twenty. Pages. Volume two comes twenty years later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. he does at this point have the gravitas that you know he can literally, you know, yeah. Volume two, yeah, next year. I get around to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got I'm, I'm done this giving other manga. chainsaws to children. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna write some manga. No, no, more chainsaws. Here we go. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, let's see here. We've got, um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is his um twelfth film uh that he directed. You know, so not kind of Whisper of the Heart, Arietti or from Open Poppy Hill, which he was, you know, involved right. with and right. storyboard and writing and so forth. Like that's a pretty good run. I mean, yeah. and and it is animation. It's not like a live action movie where you can do this in like a month. You know? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, can I mean, a, 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 or we can also storyboard the manga. Let other folks like draw yeah. it. Yeah. You know, just gonna plan out and do stuff. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? Imagine if Miyazaki spends the next decade or two overseeing manga adaptations of all of his ideas. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> God. I mean, that would that, wow, but you know what? Really open up a lot of stuff and a lot of different elements. Sure would. The stuff he's worked on. That'd be, that can, would be. Can you imagine that? Like being at a convention and going, "Oh, by the way, we have a whole new manga company, and it's all Hayao Miyazaki stuff." Everyone just went. Everyone's just gonna go, "Huh? What? <laughs> take my money. Take it. Take exactly. It, yeah. It. Yeah. What well, could you imagine uh, being given the the ability to go and? Open up Princess Mononoke. Tell way more story mm. manga wise at the pre, yeah. pre oh, man all the things that he the movie, wanted to put in, and then yeah. after mm -hmm. the movie, everything that he could have wanted that couldn't be done yeah. for time that mm. he could do in manga form. Wow! And just you know, do this, do the sketch, of the story out, give it off to the pen and ink kids, and be like, yeah, you know, <laughs> run with yeah. it. Here's this. Yeah. Here's the rough, the rough idea. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, Nausicaa famously is you know four times longer than the movie. Yeah. Manga is so yeah. yeah. There's there's tons of places you could go. <clears throat> wow, interesting. Be interesting. Yeah, yeah. We, um, we 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 all know we're gonna buy it. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's a done deal. Done yeah. deal. Um, now, will it go next to Buddha and Akira, or will it just be somewhere like <laughs> near <laughs> that shelf? <laughs> Probably along with Gundam. Yeah. Actually, actually, it's gonna get its own bookcase. Yeah, <laughs> probably <laughs> the two hundred and twenty-seven volume. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, along with Tezuka's, you know, combined works. Oh Jesus, jeez, yeah, wow. Um, um, what are some of the the, the uh, news stuff? There's some weird stuff this week. Um, Future Boy Conan's getting a stage play. <laughs> of course, it is. Um, because we all want to see that. We all want to see, you know, a uh, boy and a girl, you know, in a post apocalyptic wasteland getting kidnapped by adults. Um, sure, it'll be an interesting um, interpretation. We'll, we'll see how that yeah. works. <laughs> well, they did, they did do Chainsaw Man, yeah, true. They did an adaptation of that, there we which go. was actually very interestingly choreographed and done. I actually watched a clip of that, and it's just like they did the battle scene, and I'm like. They incorporated actual manga into it. Oh, interesting! Shadowing, and then they move the sets consistently as they're doing okay. the battle, and the, the actors are running everywhere, you know, like okay. trying to behind the scenes and stuff. And it was just like, Please. I mean, I can only imagine if I was like, you know, one of the actors doing that. Probably at the end of each each one, I'd be like, oh, I can't believe I can't believe because it's just nonstop movement. But, so he's got the automatic defibrillation unit ready in the yeah, oxygen yeah. tank. Okay. Are you ready to go? <laughs> okay, go off. Yeah. 
<laughs> Actually, Kenamano makes you you make a great point. Um, you know, somehow or other, keep your hands up, Ezoken, reanimated Future Boy Conan. Yeah. Right? Like th there are clips in there, like that's what she is watching when she finds your love of anime is Future Boy Conan. Oh dang. Yeah. So, you know, you could certainly do some interesting stuff there. Um who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll I'm see. When it comes, when it comes to the ice capades, maybe I'll consider it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, for some reason, ANN did they did they kill this news item or something? That's weird. Um, um, they're working on a mobile suit, by the way. Uh, a so show or a uh, or an actual an mobile actual suit. physical mobile suit. Um, so cool. Bandai Namco announced. Um, um let's see here um so back a couple of years ago they announced a a gundam universal century development action which was this fund to fund um research into like population environmental issues and stuff that you know shows up in gundam fair enough um it's now narrowed that down to four teams they're going to work on this stuff in future um Team Space Life, um, the Green Colony Project, the Beam Saber Plasma Agriculture Project. God. <laughs> we'll get back to these in a second. How, how? Grow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I quote, prototyping of a new pilot robot for social implementation of mobile suits. Um, social implementation. <laughs> so make friends with your robot. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, so here's what this breaks me. down. Um, Move out of the way. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> or yes, ma'am, or whatever. I'm moving. Exactly. <laughs> um, so Team Space Life is focusing on basically what would a, a sustainable living space in space look like? You know, how could we actually right. do that? Zero gravity, all that kind of stuff, you know, a controlled environment, all that fun stuff. Sub team um, is called side six. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um and Green Space Colony Project will have it will have an actual will build an actual experimental environment to study the effects of gravity, closed environments, and so forth that are unique to space and helping nice. humans realize life in space. Wow. Which is cool. Ba Bandai Namco. Yeah. This is, not like, yes. this is not like the Japanese space agency. No, 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 no. This is this is the toy is. company. <laughs> this, you know what? You know what? You know what? This is the next cyberpunk novel. Yes, wow. Bandai Namco. <laughs> they own space now. Right. Yes. Well, well they're, they're, they're a massive they're corporation, corporation a... that owns billions of lives across the solar system. Coming to well, come about. Um, and yeah. Here is here is where this kids. story comes in, where you've got the mega corporations fighting in space yeah. for like <laughs> asteroid mining. You've got like the Amazon pirate ships flying out to the to the to Mars and stuff, and like the Bandai Namco robots attacking. Them. Like this, we, we, we this need is to make going this. to end up an amazing uh, <laughs> an amazing manga and a movie and a television series and the stage um, play. Exactly. Stage play. Exactly. Um, Jeez. <laughs> so yeah, um, and like Annan points out, it's kind of hard to study zero gravity on Earth. So I don't know how you're <laughs> gonna do that. Um, yeah. I mean, you can. You do centrifuges and such. Um, the plasma things that are interesting. They say basically, plasma research has now um, expanded to where you can now maintain plasma in air, uh, making it possible to control gently so it does not get hot even when touched by people or plants. And the idea is to apply this to agriculture for heating. Mm. So can you, right. you know, you, right. okay. heat environments and so forth with plasma? Um, they said, obviously inspired by beam sabers, but we're not going to make a beam saber out of this. No. Um, it's a giant crop well, harvester. Well, with we don't have a sun. Just slicing them off. We have a yeah. sun. We don't have a sun. We just have this big sword hanging over our head. We call it yeah. Damocles. <laughs> and... um, so the... Prototyping project of a new maneuverable robot for social implementation of mobile suit. Catchy title. Um, <laughs> its aim is to realize a, quote, real mobile suit, end quote, um, for peaceful activities only. Um, it, it, it is defining mobile suit as a control robot that enriches people's lives through interaction with people. So... I don't want it's to touch you, touch. so I'm going to make this robot yeah. walk over to you and say hello. <laughs> 
Um, I'm assuming it's a theme park attraction, right? It, it yeah. is meant as something that walks around and you know people see and ooh ah uh, take pictures, right? All I'm envisioning um, is a giant. A giant underground Gundam factory, <laughs> <laughs> and the social implementation is like when these things burst out of like the underground uh, sections, and then everything becomes Bandai Namco because mm -hmm. now they have the biggest mobile suit army. Like, oh God, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah, Kevano points out. So their mobile suits will have an unlicensed nuclear power plant installed inside. I guess. <laughs> Uh, just gotta get that nuclear fusion thing figured out, and then we're we're good to go. Oh God, uh, Kaminsky. Well, yeah, if, we, if you could build a, nu a, a yeah. nuke in the in the size of like a suitcase, I mean, you could yeah. power a giant robot with it, right? I mean, that's fine. Should be fine. Absolutely it'll fine. it'll it'll all work out just great. Yeah. Oh, um, just so what wild. happened to the warp core? Or to to the to the, the core warp core in, in, or warp core <laughs> warp core to the wow, to okay. the core in the in the in the Gundam. Uh, we accidentally dropped it. Where <laughs> in the in the rice field over there? Oh yeah. my god! And the what rice, rice field? Well, it's not there now. anymore. Yeah, <laughs> and, and the whole thing went off. The demon core went, and there's yeah. nothing we can do about it. I just so this uh, part of Japan is just green now. Yeah, oh. <laughs> just glowing a lot. Oh, um, just, the the, yeah. the social usage of Gundams. I just the idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Are they um, going to do it like the what is it's what? it's like the, the Tetsunoda Heavy Industries the one that they have that is right. kind of slightly oh robot no. I, but I it's think got they're like gonna, tracks I think they're going to take yeah. what they learned from the um uh, the one in in, in Odaiba oh yeah um uh, yeah. one of the one we we saw where it can actually you know kneel down and so Articulate, forth and, right. like I said it is technically possible to make that walk and move it's just regulation really right um, right speed. Um, so once they get that kind of nailed down, and maybe that's kind of the idea is that they need to kind of, <clears throat> they can't just do that one day. They have right. to kind of get the laws going and get everything else going. Right. So that's actually legal because there's no way in hell they should ever let me behind the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh God, Steve, slow down. <laughs> well, just, you know, the, the one that it's a million bucks. Mm. That it sits on like treads kind of thing. It's got yeah, like, yeah. kind of wheel mm -hmm. base to it. It's like okay, well right. that, I, that's like, like a gun tank. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's yeah. Not that I'm saying it's easy, but it's easier than like mm -hmm. all right. the gyroscopes and yeah. hydraulics and, and motors and stuff you need to maintain a humanoid yeah. bipedal but, robot. Like, balance, but yeah. but that it's not really as impossible as you think. Is 1905? There was a uh, train invented in. Um, britain that was that ran off of one rail and it had two gyroscopes on the inside in, in the front cabin wow and it kept it from tipping all the way out so it could take curves at mm. an insane rate of speed but it would readjust the the cars behind it so it wouldn't cool. be like everyone's sitting there and then suddenly it's like oh god no. <laughs> you know but it's it's really kind of yeah. weird looking um well the yeah. other thing too it's called a that... monorail steve they have a disney world <laughs> <laughs> um um, mobile suit doesn't necessarily need to mean the size of an RX-78-2. Right. 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 They could, you know, a, a controlled robot could be 10 foot tall. And so, you know, yeah, it has to figure out all that stuff, but it's not going to, you know, fall over and crush a house. Um, right. So there's a lot more options. Boston Dynamics, I mean, they've got a lot of that stuff figured out. Well, actually, yeah, I've in, seen the man in, in Singapore, thing, yeah. in, in Singapore, there is a robot in the one, one of their larger malls that actually runs on a predetermined track hmm. that is a gachapon. Oh wow. And it moves around the mall and it will stop. It knows to stop when you step in front of it. Mm -hmm. So you know to that point, you know, making things like that to to maybe tweak that to be more like, okay, not only is it going to stop and not crush you, <laughs> but maybe stop and go, hello human, please step mm -hmm. out of the way. You know, yeah. Uh, John, you and I saw the security robot in Japan. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little... mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... Floating there using the advanced hover technology with all the lasers and saber beams. You know, it's really... <laughs> oh, that's right. We weren't supposed to tell the the regular people about it. I'm so sorry. We were living in the 28th century while we were just the 21st. <laughs> Foolish mortals. Exactly. Um... Anything else? Oh, um, High Dive announced their um, streaming 
Chain Soldier and Gushing Over Magical Girls Uncensored. Um, uh, both of these uh -huh. being um, slightly more um, adult oriented uh, and or the more <laughs> etchy, you know, stuff. Right. right. And some of the forum uh, uh, posts made this interesting point. What if that's how High Dive differentiates itself? Mm. That'd be a really interesting business model to say, we're going to get all the uncensored versions of all this stuff. Come here for all the stuff you can't get on Crunchyroll because they're not going to show yeah, you uncensored yeah. version. Not a bad idea. It's, it's, well, you know, it's funny is on Roku, they they come and they go so quickly, but mm. there's these little anime channels and they throw up like maybe one or two titles, mm. max them out, max out however many episodes they can get on there. And it's uncensored and it's mm. you know did you you see the thing and then you're mm. like okay i'll be coming back a, a week later and then you're like mm -hmm. oh it, it, it's gone it's now. gone <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. so yeah that that would be a redo of healer uncensored where'd it go yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but that would that would be interesting if high dive kind of different you know said okay you know what we have these markets over here. We're going to do our market. We're going to do this. Mm -hmm. Hi, yeah. guys. And, and, and maybe, it and maybe from, like, they can do friendly to like adult channels. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe they'll do, was it uh, Cleo, Cleopatra DC? There we oh. go. Oh. I'd be happy to see that. Bible Black? What? What? No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. No, oh, wow. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Not that far. No, we're not um, going to go off the edge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Into the abyss, the void. Uh, oh, I did read some manga this week mm. uh, that I, I really enjoyed, um, which I wanted to mention. Um, mm. One was called uh, Welcome to Japan, Miss Elf. Um, okay. The main character is a 25-year-old salaryman. Uh, when he goes to sleep, he can lucid dream. As a boy, he loved like fantasy novels. And so ever since he was a boy, he's been lucid dreaming this fantasy world that he goes into and goes off and fights monsters. Fair enough. It's kind of his one big hobby. He does. Um, um, he's been solo adventuring. Meets cute elf girl in his dream. Fair enough. Um, um, I, sh I should also mention a couple of th uh, things. He can't bring anything over with him into the world, but if he sets food down next to him on the nightstand, it's there in the dream. Oh, okay. Which is kind of interesting. Like he's put other things next to him, like, you know, stationary and pens. They don't show up, but like just food, kind of weird. Food, okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. Which is actually works out well because in the fantasy world, all the food's kind of bland anyway. So he's like, I, but I get, you know, katsudon. Like, eh. um, So he, is, he then meets this elf girl. And um, they go off in search of like dragon eggs, stumble across a dragon, dragon isn't pleased, roasts them to death. Um, and so of course he wakes up, you know, as he always does when he dies in the world and she's next to him in bed <laughs> in the real world. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Um, of course, Ooh. naked. Naturally. <laughs> Naturally. Naturally. Um, yeah. And of course, eek. <laughs> and... Uh, so oh. yeah, um, thankfully none of that actually. Um, it's one thing they really like about it. But um, so he is then like, okay, well, you're here. Presumably, when we go back to sleep tonight, then we'll go back into your fantasy world. So that should be okay. Um, while you're here, let's walk around Japan. You know, and just enjoy Japan. Check the she, sights. Yeah. And by the way, of course, she loves Japanese food. Yeah. Um, because it's not utterly bland and so forth. Right. And so um they go Me out too. and they yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um although it is funny where you know, next panel he's in a you know uh woman's clothing store going like, Okay, what are there's all this stuff? Being like, I you know, she told me her measurements, but I have no idea what that means really. Um Boy. yeah. Uh gets that, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. As you do. Um <laughs> so they uh, they go around wander around Japan. And what I like about it is a couple of things. One is they very quickly start saying, okay, what's going on here? Why is this like you going to sleep? You come into like my actual world. Like, like clearly this is not my dream world. This is an actual fantasy world I'm tapping into somehow. What are the consequences of that? What do, what do we, what do we do as a result of that? 
Um, when we wake up, where are we going to wake up? Hmm. Yeah, right. Like, what's going to happen when we go back into the, that world next you know, tomorrow tonight? Right. Um, and so all these these various uh, various things. Um, I also really like the fact that they have a really nice relationship. Um, they are both really good friends. They really like each other's company. There's clearly romance on the horizon. It is kind of developing there. Um, and fair enough. Um, and there is none of that. I hate you or I, I, I don't want to, you know, seem like I like you. Oh, um, right. Yeah. No Sunray kind of thing. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so I hate to love you. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, like they're they're both nervous about that. They're both very much like I don't want to like move too fast on this, but right. they're both definitely ready to move for, forward on that relationship. So like, thank you. You know, it's a, it's a very thing. She is also not only 105. Um, <laughs> she looks like she's you know 20. So okay. Okay. no complaints Good. there. You know. <laughs> She's I, 12. I look like I'm 12. Well, she looks like I'm she's really 12. Yeah. 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, it still doesn't make it okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, really enjoyed the end. That, that is getting adapted, I believe, next uh, this coming up year uh, to nice. anime. But it was a, it's a really yeah. fun one. So, if you like that kind of thing, and then clearly there's going to be sort of a, you're going to collect sort of a harem in the fantasy world um, uh, based on volume one. But that was a lot of fun. Um, the other one was um, the beginning of uh, this time I will find happiness, and I'm actually going to pull up. I posted this in the in the manga channel in um, the Discord, but I'm going to actually pull it up here uh, so we can look at it um, and we'll scroll through. So let me present. Um, see if we can get that here. Uh, where is that? Should be it. Okay, so see if you guys can see this. I'll scroll mm -hmm. in a little bit. Um, yep. I promise to come back when the mission is complete, so please wait for me. He's been chosen to be the hero to fight, fight off the demon king who comes every hundred years, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> 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 okay wow so it turns out what's happening there is that um you know how the demon king reincarnates every hundred years so does she and she is always for the last like three times she has always been the beloved of the guy who goes to fight the demon king and ends up falling in love with some you know battle dancer maiden that he goes along with or something and never comes home to her. Oh, and okay. she's sick of it. <laughs> Damn. So she's like, this time I'm going to go, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to go just, you know, go to the city, have my own life. Yeah. Nice. Done with it. Good luck slaying the demon lord. You you know, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly that. Um, and what I'm enjoying about it is that everyone's like, He's going to come back. And she's like, no, he won't. And you're like, is that the twist? Like, that'd be a good twist. Yeah. <laughs> He'll show up and she's got three children and two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that kind of world. Like, what the? Actually, uh, he comes back and she says, well, you know, every time I go to sleep, I wake up next to this guy. Yeah, <laughs> next to this there elf girl in, in, in another Tell world. Tell me more. No, what? <laughs> we want to talk about the year that was. Mm -hmm. Um, you want to talk you about the year that slipping was? Away. <laughs> yeah, slipping away. Yeah. Only a few hours left in it. Amazingly yeah. enough. Um. Uh. Do you guys need to take a break? Or can we can we chat for a little bit more? Well, we can do it for a little bit more. The mama okay. dog's still, yeah. still asleep. I don't I don't have any bathroom break needs, so I'm cool. Good. Cool. Yeah. Um, um. I have a few notes about the year. Um. Many of them just kind of personal. Some of the things I was happy to see this year. Hmm. Um. We had the return of two classics. 
in anime form that went um, extremely well, uh, all things considered. You had uh, Trigun Stampede mm -hmm. this year, which is very <clears throat> happy about. And then the Roroni Kenshin remake. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, which I have Change. not gone back to see much more of, but what I saw was, you know, seemed very much on point. Yeah, from what we watched, that was I had thought you would have finished it by now and given us a, yeah. a rundown of all <laughs> better, same, or worse. But yeah, yeah, um, so that was good. Um, also, a lot of uh, what I call manga. I like getting good at adaptations. <laughs> <laughs> um, Otaku Elf, Campfire Cooking Another World, mm. the girl I like I forgot her glasses. Yep. Um, uh, and of course, Oshinoko, mm -hmm. which I think was a standout for a lot of folks this year. Oh, Do y'all yeah, think? Yeah. I, I, I think Oshinoko might be the big one this year. Yeah. Um, you know, if if folks have a best anime of the year, I can see Oshinoko winning it. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about us watching television, who are they interviewing, and what mm -hmm. were they interviewing them about? Yep, it was the it was the song to Oshinoko, and it's like mm -hmm. okay, so that the the series is not ended years ago. It's it's still mm -hmm. you know very much in the public consciousness, but to yeah. have them on like regular TV being mm -hmm. interviewed about you know they're doing a lead song to that series, like mm -hmm. obviously this has gotten a lot of traction. Because I didn't see anybody else getting that kind of interview. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and a lot of folks are big on Apothecary Diaries right now. Um, yeah. Uh, and Grinnan, I think it's it's a little more, not recency bias, but it, it is airing and folks are talking about it. Right. So is that going for it? I For me, I started the year off with a crap ton of manga. Mm. Because the pretty lady who got me food got me this um, cafe made spice box where it was like um, right. you know, food and then four manga. And I got yeah. a whole bunch of them. And I did like at the beginning on my channel, I did like a huge ass review of all these different ones with had Helk, uh, Chainsaw Man, uh, mm. you know, all these guys. And of course, Toshi Go No. no um, yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, I read that. And of course, you know, I got to the end. I was just like, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> just reading the manga. And then, you know, when the anime came on, I was just like, oh, oh, I wonder if the guys want to watch this. <laughs> and, you know, I, I didn't realize you had already read the manga, Brent, but then yeah. just watching, you, you know, you guys towards the end, they're just being silent. Mm -hmm. it's very, just... mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, I, I, you know, a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, Vinland Saga, which I'm wrapping up. Mm. Um, uh, first season, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, and just a whole bunch of different, like, you know, oddball things just because mm. you know i have this now access to all this stuff on not only just online but also on um you know going to this beyond video store which is really cool and you know it, it was just like it wasn't just like you know watching uh was it um seasonal previews right mm. it was just it was just just kind of like just being able to pick you know what what i'm gonna watch and, mm. and and that kind of thing and then also um watching kaiju movies <laughs> so if i you know watch five purposely watch five kaiju movies and the one one of the most entertaining ones was was not godzilla 1985 but the north korean one okay bulgasari which was just <laughs> i was <clears throat> I managed to find it on youtube and it was um you know someone did a english edit of it and or you know english uh, subtitle and just watching that thing, it's just like, okay, weirdly not that bad. <laughs> For a North Korean? Like North not, Korean. Not South Korean. North, okay. Korean. North, North, Korean. North Korea. This wow. is this is the one where um they they you know it's 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 all the tropes, it's all the communist tropes, it's all the, the peasants rise up and then being wary of corrupted power and blah 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 mm. blah 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 and all this, that, and the other thing. But because everyone else was making their kaiju movies, they were just like, well, we can make one too. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Did it win the Palm d'Or? <laughs> Not really. Not really. Not the fact really. that it exists outside of North Korea probably is credit enough to it. To it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh. There's a uh, great YouTube channel called uh, The Bad Movie Bible. And he's a yeah. connoisseur of movies like Miami Connection and 
samurai cop. Um, <laughs> okay. right. And he talks about how it's interesting how different um, knockoffs of things have different patterns. That like um, every Bond knockoff still tells some kind of its own weird story. You know, it'll still have super villains and so forth, but all whatever. That but every um, what was it? Um, um, it was like every Aliens movie is exactly like Aliens. Yeah. Uh, the same characters, same plot, same everything, all the exact same beats. Like, there's just no variation on that whatsoever. It's very weird. Once you've nailed it, why reinvent? Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. right. Yeah. yeah. And same with Kaiju movies. I think Kaiju movies become very much, well, we know what the formula is. Let's just do that thing. Somebody will watch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we make Definitely budget is. or not, but somebody will watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think of anything like that. Uh, highlight wise for for manga anime yeah i still i still am trying to catch up i have pre-ordered the remainder of spy family and it just keeps mm. showing up and yeah. i'm not <laughs> able to catch up to it ah. <laughs> so it's like i've got like four volumes that i've just sort of sitting in package i'm mm. like ah. akira that was going to be one of the ones i was yeah. going to read during christmas week i'm like i'm gonna finally crack it open and break the plastic look and i still sitting there mm. Because I caught up on a ton of, uh, I think, five or six shows that were in my crunchy queue at the oh, bottom. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That have been there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and I caught up and got those off of the queue. Hmm. Um, tried to see if I could kick around and find some more obscure stuff and other sources. Yeah. And so just trying to keep yeah. up as much yeah. as I can keep up with. What were some of the ones you caught up on? Oh, God. I wish I had the yeah. phone with me i could tell you what it was but they were some of the older ones that i had had mm. in there for a long time mm -hmm. yeah i can't even like yeah I, mm -hmm. my phone's in the other room playing music for the dogs <laughs> so i don't <laughs> like physically have like oh i could pull that up mm -hmm. in my history yeah oh i could probably pull it up with the, no i'm not gonna mess with it if i mess okay. with the computer sure. and do anything weird you might might see me just go this mm -hmm. beer <laughs> but it's just yeah yeah well, some and of the older the ones from this season too. Like mm. I also caught up on those. Watched the last episode or two of. Um, oh, I'm I'm almost done free run, but not quite. Ooh, um, oh, nice. But, but like you know what I mean? Like those from this season. So it was like mm -hmm. top and bottom of the chart. So I yeah. knocked out this season, the good chunk of it, mm -hmm. and then at the very bottom of it was, gosh, I don't even know how far back the Crunchy Q goes. Mm. I would swear they've been on there for four years. The ones sure. at the very bottom of the list. I, I yeah. can't guarantee you, though. Um, mm -hmm. But it's like trying to catch up with those kind of things was fun. <laughs> what did you think of Freerun? I still like Freerun. The problem I have with it is I enjoy watching stupid rom-com stuff. I enjoy ah, watching, yeah. you know, you know, yeah. crazy high school days or like mm -hmm. wacky fantasy, like into another world with my smartphone. And Freerun <clears throat> is a beautiful, nice Home story. Mm -hmm. There's not a whole heck of a lot of super action that's going no. on, really. but it well, is this. It there is this very much progression of 28 years after Himmel's death. Ah, oh, you know, so many years after blah 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 died. Ah, oh, hey, you know, you came to the village and you saved us, and um, everybody is dead. I was like three when you showed up, and I vaguely remember you. Oh. So it's mm -hmm. been like 60 years since you've been to the village. Like, mm -hmm. oh, the the immortalness of elves <clears throat> and the fragileness of human beings. Thanks for reminding me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Who wants so it's to live forever. <laughs> forever. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of one of those things where I really like Freerun, but mm -hmm. it's also that I, I caught up to that in bits and pieces so i watch mm -hmm. an episode then watch something stupid mm -hmm. and then go back and watch an episode one then watch something stupid because it's like i don't i don't need at the end of the year that as the embers burn down for 2023 to be reminded that the embers of everything burning down mm -hmm. <laughs> like, no, I... <laughs> well it's funny i just started speaking of embers burning and dying things dying mm -hmm. <clears throat> to your eternity i oh. started the, i started the manga yeah. because when I went to the to the library to pick up a bunch of uh, books uh, a few days ago, um, I noticed that I was like, 
every now and again they change it. They switch up the the, the adult man- manga section. There's there's a young teen adult section, you know, where you find the Sailor Moon and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And then there's the more adult, and more historic, what I call historic, you know, Tezuka and things like that. Right. And they had volumes one through eighteen of Two Year Eternity. I'm like, wow, like, oh, oh okay, I'll, yeah, sure, I'll bite. Because uh, I think we I've seen first four episodes of the anime. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. So yeah, I've seen you know, enough of that to be like, oh my, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the ones I ran across in the in the queue where I'm like, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. that's right to your eternity. Yes, and, that's, and, that's a journey. And yes, and trying is. to do, yeah, oh yeah, it is. Uh huh. And and trying to watch uh, Phoenix. Mm. Uh, yeah, you know, I got I got like the first disc in, and and I mm. and at the end of that particular part of the story, I'm just like going. Oh my God! Oh God! Oh, there's more. There's at mm-hmm. least four other discs. Oh Jesus H! Mm-hmm. You know, because it it's, it's it's dense. Mm-hmm. Like you know, I, I was you know one of those things where it's just like, oh, this would be a great you know panel, historic panel. Then I'm like watching it. I'm like, why? I just I can't. <laughs> you know? it's How do I work with much. this? It's so mm-hmm. much. But yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's been a it's been an interesting it, it has not been thematic for me at all this year. Mm, it it right. has been all it has been all over the place, including things like uh you know <laughs> Inferno Cop and <laughs> <laughs> which is mm. anyway, um but yeah, I mean it's just it's just been all over the all over the place. It's well fortunately place. I'm here to announce we're gonna watch every Gundam series next year. That's gonna be our theme. And so we'll there be very go. focused. Oh, yeah. We'll just watch all of Gundam, right? All 1,000 titles of, <laughs> of Gundam. Not all episodes, the mind you. All the not, OVAs. Over, mm-hmm. not, not episodes, Everything. mind you. Titles. Mm-hmm. All <laughs> titles. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah, that we're, might be a more than a year project. <laughs> <laughs> I just would be very interested to see how far, John, you would make it through Gundam Wing before you just go, no, mm. no, 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 no. Well, it depends. Do the characters I love die? I, that's always a hard one on me. Spoilers. Because uh-huh. <laughs> there have been... Try it, try it. Oh, well, duh. It, it Obviously, is... Madoka. Madoka is the yeah. perfect example I use of being like, <laughs> okay, I'm getting into the story. I'm, that's, you know, I'm just magic girls. Okay, it seems a little magic mm-hmm. girly for me, but it seems like there might be like more edge on this. Okay, let's see, give it a oh, some oh no no nope mm-hmm. done nope nope not mm-hmm. watching any more of that. <laughs> oh, like um, never gone back. <laughs> I'm thinking now, realizing Gundam really doesn't kill off main characters. A lot. No, um, you know the central kid, like we saw you at the mess team, right? Like. Right. The bad guy will die. Some NPCs will die along the way. That kind of right. stuff. Um, side characters, but uh, yeah, that's not, not really the thing they do. Yeah, which, so. is, which works out great because it's mm. when I get attached to those characters, and they end up dead. Where it's like, oh, ah, no, mm. yeah, no, no. Gundam Wing is more along the lines of action, action. Okay, flowchart. It's going to bring this down. <laughs> this guy what used to be in this organization. Now he's with this guy. This guy over here used to be his best friend. Now they're his enemies. And they, now these two guys are lovers. But you know, you have this, you know, it just goes on. <laughs> Royal Space Force. Yeah, it, it is. <clears throat> yeah, it, it is the the uh, Gundam uh, soap opera. Yeah. Um, at, wow. at the kind of the the highest level. Um, but it has one of the most iconic scenes where he just takes. Lena's in bed. Just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the invitation scene. Drama. Hero's all about drama. This is this is true. Yeah. Hero, yeah. Um, I agree, Kenamano. I think uh, John would like Area 88. Um, oh, yeah, actually. I've yeah. seen a bit of Area 88, but mm. gosh, it's been... It's a, it's a while. You know? It's yeah. been a hot minute. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if you like uh, 801 TTS Air Bats. I think you would. Um, it's a Kenichi Sonoda work. Uh, the guy did Oh My Goddess. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he just did character design, something like that. But it's um, Otaku goes to uh, the, the uh, gets stationed at a uh, uh, Japanese Self Defense Force Air Force uh, uh, post, 
um, uh, and tries to hide his otakuness from all of the hot girls who, uh, <laughs> you know, are, are fly flying these uh, planes along with him. So it's one of those, you know, where it's very much 90s, you know, silly OVA kind of a thing. Okay. Um, yeah, I could, I could totally dig on that. Yeah. But um, also like like military otaku kind of, you know, shots of jets flying past kind of stuff. Right. Too. So that was fun. And yes, strike but, witches I've seen like oh, I yeah. can't even count how many strike witches I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> All of the strike witches. Everyone I can I can possibly watch. I did uh, that was what I meant to get back to. I have mm. I have the next iteration of that from like two seasons ago. It was strike oh. witch something or other. I have not oh, finished yeah. it. It was it's somewhere down on the bottom of the list. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so busy, I'm so busy. And I loved Gate. Mm. Yeah. That's why I have Rory Gate Mercury was good. Uh, yeah. stick in my car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what, John? You should watch Strawberry Panic. I swear I've That's seen part of Strawberry Panic. Mm. I don't know why. I think you guys showed me part of Strawberry Panic like a Possible. while back. Because really? I had said the same thing. I'm like, I've never seen it. You were like, oh, mm. my. Oh, well. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I may have it around here somewhere. Actually, John, you would really like Loveless. Loveless? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, there were actually a lot of, you know, looking back on the year, there were a lot of really, um, like, interesting shows this year, too. Um, Zom 100. Yep. Yeah. You know, um, Hell's Paradise. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Near Automata. You know, the show. Yeah. People didn't mm -hmm. like it, but like it was a really interesting take on that that universe. Um, it was just the artistic style of Nier Automata that was was yeah. Automata or whatever. It was. Um, yeah, that was just really that was a really cool. It reminded me, of, I think we talked about it. It reminded me of Ergo Proxy, like that really mm. like, oh, yeah. stark contrast kind of <clears> thing. I was like, oh wow. Speaking of which, I want to show you all something that is, um, not anime but adjacent. <laughs> Um, anything else you want to talk about 2023 wise? Hmm. It was a good year for anime. It was indeed. Mm -hmm. And a good year for going to Japan. Hey, it's true. Uh, we'll have to do that again sometime. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got some, some cool anime coming up too. We've got uh, Delicious in Dungeon coming this mm -hmm. season. We have Re Monster coming next season, which I'm very curious to see how they adapt that. Um, I have or had that manga, and it 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 has some interesting elements to it in the first uh, couple chapters. Um, Kaiju number uh, eight's coming up sometime, but I don't that's know true. Where it's yeah, latter yeah. latter part of twenty twenty four. But mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, when's so the yeah. next watch party? <laughs> uh, in two weeks. Damn! Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yay! In two weeks, two weeks, three weeks, something like that. A couple weeks. So and we'll yeah. block out our, our chunk of time on Saturday, Sunday mm -hmm. to, to make sure well, we can get it. Here's the other bad news um, about that. Um, um, I, I wrote down uh, here um, uh, a list of all of the anime coming out um, um, in the next season, mm -hmm. and. Um, it's a long list. Holy oh, wow. Um, I count 35 new anime series. <laughs> so by the end of it, we're all going to be like, oh, I, I can't blink. <laughs> I can't blink yeah. and I can't feel I, the left side of my face. I think oh. we're going to have to be hitting the, the buzzer a lot. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Which is, uh, I mean, I honestly think that was that was a great innovation to be like, yeah. what do we think? Do we want to keep going with it? How do we feel about it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Move it on. Mm -hmm. Like that yeah, saved yeah. a lot of time for some shows that were made. I know. So, oh god, mm -hmm. some of those shows where we were just like, oh, and the the kids are were uh, no, <laughs> yeah. move along. Next, yeah. What do we got? We've got um, Shaman King Flowers is actually coming up uh, oh. this uh, this coming up season. So the the kind of okay. sequel series to Shaman King. Nice. Um, that's kind of fun. Um, and then. A ton of other things. <laughs> Delicious in Dungeon. 
which we'll have to pull off of Netflix somehow. Um, um, I'll make some phone calls. Hey, there man. we go. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, there's just a ton. I mean, I've been you know, Brave, Brave Earn, Villainous Level 99, Time for Torture. Um, <laughs> I have a feeling that one might be. Wait, smoke it? No. Mm. <laughs> yeah, all the way yeah. I think what was what was the concept of that one? Um, uh, I thought that was that one was actually kind of fun. Ever torture princess. Um, see here. Um, <laughs> torture and fun. Hmm. Yay! Mm -hmm. Oh yes. So, um, in an ongoing battle between the Imperial Army and the Hell Horde, the princess from the army has been captured along with her holy sword X. Since regular torture is prohibited by the Prisoner of War Treaty, the Grand Inquisitor employs unusual torture techniques, usually in the form of tempting foods and snacks from Japanese culture. <laughs> you want this pocky, don't you? Uh, the Can princess it? relents, but gives information that is trivial in nature. <clears throat> um, so yes, it is, it is that. I don't that would that could actually be fairly effective. The the, <laughs> the Sukiya Mega Bowl curry bowl. Yeah, there we go. Cheesy hamburger. Oh yeah. I, I might I might, so, I might give up give everyone kind of an idea. <laughs> there we go. So there's there's the tone of your, your show. <laughs> the look of horror and deliciousness. <laughs> That's oh. just amazing. That, that that I think that'll be fun actually. We'll see. Um, could be one of those things where like it's fun for five minutes. I don't you know. know. Well, like, is yeah. do we know whether it's a twenty-three episode, twenty-three minute episodes, or whether it's like five? Five. Yeah. Because you know? <laughs> if it's five, I, that that would be yeah, just about the level where you'd be like, you won't mm -hmm. talk. How about this tonkatsu ramen? Mm -hmm. Un scene. Okay. Yeah, moving yeah. on. Good. Um. I special am not one hour episode. Uh. <laughs> it, is, it is TV series. Not but sure. The, well, the five minute episode ones were yeah, yeah. considered series. But I mean, it, uh, airing on oh, TV. Oh, the bottleneck. I remember that one. I like that one. Oh, the, the one of the short ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Not so much Inferno Cop. But, well, was you know. the. Um, I, I can't understand what my. What my husband's saying. Oh yeah, I love that. That one. was like five minute episodes. Yep. Um, so it's like you know you can, you can have good content. It's just the right dosage where you can just then mm -hmm. move on. <laughs> I was like, yep. so. Um, speaking of which, um, there's there was a, an announcement uh, that uh, kind of got some folks riled up that some company is investing in what, what they're calling light anime, uh, which is basically motion comics, oh, and yeah. they're gonna. Uh, focus on those. They'll be ten minutes long, ten minutes per episode, six to twelve minute. Um, uh, sorry, six to twelve episode series, uh, ten minutes per episode. Um, and they're going to kind of uh, move forward with that. And uh, obviously, folks were like, rah, 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 rah. Um, I'm unsure though if that doesn't mean that those are going to be kind of like um, O and A's, where it's like. Right. We're just gonna throw this together because it's inexpensive and an easy way of kind of keeping this show going. Um, it's not meant to be a full scale anime right. release, uh, right. or it's sort of supplementary well, to, or instead of. Right. Well, I mean, I always thought that these things were always just meant, literally meant to be filler. Like literally, mm -hmm. just okay. You need to digest Otoshi no Ko, so here's something <laughs> funny. You know, yeah. right. So you don't mm -hmm. die of, of of depression. Um, you know, here you go. Mm -hmm. But so yeah, I don't understand why there would be that much of a pushback. I, I yeah. mean, I guess the only thing I could say is if they took a, like a really popular title and they did that yeah. with that, yeah, maybe. yeah, that'd be disappointing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But would you do that like Isekai Quartet? That one is Jimmy <clears throat> characters. It's not very dense animation mm -hmm. style. It's fairly yeah. fairly limited, but it's addressing several different franchises in a way that gives you some content yeah but it doesn't give you any core content it keeps right. it in the consciousness and it gives you like a little you know it sprinkles a little oh i remember that character yeah and yeah. then you move on it's like i could easily see that kind of thing yeah. where it's like we're between seasons and we want to keep mm -hmm. people invested and in knowing yeah. what's going on so we'll sprinkle in a little bit of this 
as Kanemoto was saying in chat, um, kind of like Omake strips in the manga, you know, yeah, like yeah. extra little storylines. Yeah, I can yeah. I can totally see that. Um, yeah, all depends. I could also see that being a really great so a lot of the series that we've talked about where it's like, oh, will they ever see another season? It's been mm-hmm. 10 years. I could see using yeah. something like that yeah. to be like, hey, you know, here's this little short section that people are like, oh, that's right. I remember that. I remember that mm-hmm. series. Like that could be a good way to yeah. bring, you know, haul people back into a franchise. Mm-hmm. So. Also remember, this is the world of uh, like radio dramas. Of right. drama CDs, things like that, where like right. there's no animation, it's just the characters talking. Yeah. So it can also be sort of a bridge between those sorts of mediums where we'll just do this little story and it'll have some illustrations in it, but it's not meant to be, you know, right, right. Uh Princess Mononoke. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nausicaa five minute increments. Oh <laughs> yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> This That's is what truly awful. awful. <laughs> <laughs> His last true film will be actually not a film at all. It's just going to be <laughs> little tiny segments, lip flapping. Uh-huh. Miyazaki comes out of retirement to do a a white anime of you know do it yourself or something. It's like, what? what the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> or like, would watch. Or, uh, no, this is what it would be. Um, um, a, a specifically to your point, a light anime of Oremo. Oh, god, <laughs> ah, no. where did he even start with that? <clears throat> <laughs> like, I, what? Yeah, that's wow. You hate all of this. This makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. that. that... Jeez, that's got me thinking. How could you present that? Stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is Miyazaki's version of Oremo? How how does he <sighs> make that work? Oh God! <laughs> it, oh uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm not even sure. Given like his penchant for introducing subjects that we've we've talked about numerous times, mm. um, how he could use that to push you know a a socialist agenda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, that's that's that'd be an odd one. Definitely. Yes, yes that oh, would God. be. Um I just I just want to see what it would look like. That's not, that's all I'm saying. Someone write him a letter and suggest this. Exactly. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If um, you're retiring, why not just flush your reputation down the crapper too? No. Okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Well, and um, actually, there was a, a, a post this week. Um, the uh, was a Japanese animation um, association uh, published the preview of their annual report for last year's 2022, and showed that um, anime increased, I think, eight percent. Wow! Last year, which is nice. you know not too uh, bad. Uh-uh. Um, <clears throat> can't, can't complain there. Um, Rather see rising than shrinking. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, they shrank 28%. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, and of course, that's after uh, COVID and basically mm. saying, okay, good. So looks like uh, yeah. I think it dipped in 2020 and then it's been going back up in 2021 and 2022. So nice. um, industry is doing well. Yeah. Yes. And we know that global reach and global uh, distribution agreements have gone year by year, increasingly, you know, mm-hmm. global connections. Mm-hmm. So I think it's going to be getting better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, disappointingly, uh, Mid Journey disappointed me. Um, I asked for an image of uh, Oremo as a Hayao Miyazaki movie, and it has no idea what to do with that. <laughs> um, uh, I, I should show you this just because it is kind of so disappointing. As soon as you type um, that in, there's a server farm and you yeah. it's now on fire just trying to deal with this. Like, I, what does what does he want? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this just doesn't look okay. Well, we'll, we'll see what they, you know. Um, That'll be the way to bring know. Skynet down. Ask that yeah. question of Skynet; <laughs> it'll crash the entirety of the system. So here, here's what it came up with. Uh, we'll see if you guys think this is any of these are remotely on point. What? Um, <laughs> they're um, yeah, <laughs> they're just freaking um, weird. <laughs> yeah, it's not okay. Miyazaki and it's not Oremo. Yeah. <laughs> It's like some bastard child of the two. Yeah, it's, it's really great. weird. It's like I, uh, 
and then I asked it for I I tried to do it again. No, and we get still has no idea. Oh god. I mean, it's trying. I the character styles, I'd watch it, but I wouldn't yeah. you know, yeah. like, oh, this is definitely well, let's studio, just try... studio Ghibli. <laughs> um the anime series. Uh it's Ore no Emoto, right? Yes. Okay. As a Haya Miyazaki movie. Maybe he just doesn't know what the Oremo is. Right. And we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll make sure it's using the, the new, uh, the, the anime. Uh, and that's we'll give that a minute. It looks like a black hole. Um, we'll, we'll see if we get something out of that. As some absurd, type of there. madness. Yeah. It'll be something that'll drive us instantly. We'll have to make uh, sanity, sanity rolls. Exactly. Oh, damn it. I failed. <laughs> Cthulhu? What? Well, and uh, good point in chat. Like, so much is simulcast now, too. Yep. Yeah. Like, it's so easy to get so much stuff. Well, geez, when we were watching Eminence and Shadow on freaking television, and then by the yeah. time we got back here, it was we, it was already like two episodes beyond that. It's like, yeah, damn, <laughs> it's actually on TV. The simulcast things, no damn joke. An hour later, it's already translated, subtitled over here. Dub mm -hmm. comes like a little bit later. Yeah, but the subtitling happens fairly, fairly yeah. a miracle yeah. kind of fast. Whoa. Like, Whoa. Uh oh. Okay. Um, it still has no idea what it's doing. But asking for the uh, asking for the uh, anime filter um, gives us something much more interesting. Oh. Uh, let me do, 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 do. think tentacles. What? <laughs> oh, oh, holy! What? Yeah. Okay, upper right. Good. Yeah, I, I know. I mean, can can we have weathering this anime, with you? <laughs> yeah, in the weathering with you on the right. left. Oh wow! Um, oh my gosh! So it must have no idea what Oino Emoto is. Yeah, because I just love doesn't... some of that. What in the heck yeah. is the one with... Is that a cat in the middle? I think so. Yep. Like a kitty face or something like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little kitty face of little things. And, um, and Miku I there also, on the right. I also like, I don't know if you noticed uh, this girl here. Yeah, I was oh, like, wait a minute. <laughs> Where the, the head's flipped down at 80 degrees. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the AI got that a little bit wrong. She's um, the special alien girl. There we oh, go. Nice. Um, I also want to point out, remember how um, AI couldn't handle hands? Yes. No problem anymore. Hmm. Yeah, as I say, the I hands that's, that's look pretty well perfect. formed. Yeah. Jeez. But, uh, yeah, geez, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, uh, I I wonder if you plugged in, I have no idea what the full title is, like, or in... Or in Oreno in Moto Wakakanani, blah, 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 blah. something like I get it. My little sister can't um, possibly be this cute. Okay, let me let me let me try that. It's a good point. Um, See if that will help it to zero in. Yeah. Let me close a few of these. Uh, do, do, do. Need to go over to that. Um, actually, what we'll do. Uh, Studio Ghibli style. Okay. Ah, or there you go. Ore no imoto ga kona. Yeah. Kona ni kawaii wakaganai. Um, Thank you. And then, the, do we try? <laughs> can I try the uh, the newest version? Why not. Um, okay. It's thinking. <laughs> um, I'm not showing a thinking because other people are doing other prompts, and so you get right. a lot of weird things in there, kind of <laughs> distracting. A lot of weird stuff going on. The yeah. AI is probably going, why, why, why do they keep asking? <laughs> I don't, I, why? Why do they hate me so? Why can't they just go with the things you always ask? Rem in a bathing suit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a complete uh, stack of compiled data for that. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. If that resolves the way I think it is, that's an odd one. And yeah, it looks like it has no idea what Oremo is. <laughs> Damn. Interesting. Because I think full title, it would pick that right up and be like, oh, yeah. okay. You know? Oh, but it's always in its training data. So maybe that folks who show, you know, publish fan art online aren't using the full title 
mm. in their descriptions of their images. But wow. Um, again, not anything correct. <laughs> not anything what we're looking for, but hell. Not looking for, but hell. Um, and it definitely has a better idea of Studio Ghibli now. Mm, okay. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I have no idea the story that I want to write for any of these images. But, right. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> the cake one, I think I have an anime coming to mind about a cake store that has like two cat girls. Wait a minute. <laughs> mm. I'm just so, reimagining Nekopara. I'm sorry. <laughs> so here's the question. So I guess we have, can we do an anime with all four of them? So is, uh, so I think that's the older sister of her. Yes. Right. Um, she lives in the country. Um, surrounded by spirits, and it comes to the city and her, her older sister's bakery. Right? Mm -hmm. But could the Sakura Tree House be a magical bakery? Ooh, I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That that first floor <laughs> is the magical mm -hmm. bakery, and that yep. they serve they serve two different styles. The older sister makes the style of cakes that sell to the local people she also mm -hmm. has a little delivery service takes it into town whatever else the younger sister makes cakes for spirits Ooh, Ooh. i like that hold on that that's her connection with mm -hmm. the when she helps her sister and they don't get the spirits don't they don't pay in money but what yeah. they do is they maintain the bloom of the sakura and they mm -hmm. maintain the surrounding area so that there is always those are all the spirits that are helping spirits yeah exactly Mm -hmm. um, oh. and uh, older girl just doesn't quite know what to do with all the spirits, right? Yeah. Like she's right. she's the more conscientious, serious type, while her younger sister is the free spirited one. Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay, make that, that house That's... almost reminds me of Wang Chu a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yep. agreed, definitely. Or the Grand Narakami yeah. Shrine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Love the little. Well, the, uh, went, the older sister is also the making spirit cakes. Doesn't really take as much ingredients, but the older sister is always aware that since mm. their parents are dead, she has to earn <laughs> money with this cake shop. Yeah, of course. So of course. she doesn't have a problem with the little sister making cakes for spirits because the spirits, she can't see them, mm. perhaps, but yep. she knows that the little sister can. There's something going on. Everything's the house is always maintained. Everything mm -hmm. is, you know, everything looks yeah. like it's doing great and she's not doing any part of it, but she's aware I can't keep giving ingredients away because we have to live. I have to mm -hmm. like, make, <clears throat> make cakes. So it's maybe there's an awakening somewhere in the point where the, where her little sister is like, try this cake that I made. Mm -hmm. And that then awakens the older sister. And then you have uh, that vista sort of opening where all of a sudden you see all the spirits. Or we can like, go the opposite direction. And um, make me cry. Uh, yes, you could. <laughs> yes, because um, the reason the older sister can't see them is because she's gotten older. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. so you're waiting for that day when the little sister can't see them um, either. Oh, yeah. Has to give it all up. Uh, thanks. So, so, ladies and gentlemen in chat, land, if you would be so kind as to crowdsource our new <laughs> studio so that we may make this anime. Exactly. Um, yeah, welcome to our studio, Otaku no Ghibli. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's cute, but it's not a rainbow. No, yeah, interesting. I it's a fantastic new it... film idea, but no, yeah. it's just not already. We're in <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, I wonder if I, I mean... still do wonder whether people are using this to do just that. Mm. Put in some simple ideas, let it chug, and mm. then somebody on the other end, the other end, is like, "I can make a manga out of this." Okay, I plug mm. oh, in yeah. what I think the manga should be, mm -hmm. and then I've got some ideas. Now I got some base characters that I can sort yeah. of like draw out and do it from there. So totally, I mean that. I think that is the best use of it is as yeah. an inspiration yeah. engine. Yeah, where yeah. Like, oh, let me get, get some ideas, and then I'll actually you know do the work. Yeah. Because um, we just put together what could be a multi-volume or a film mm -hmm. in less than five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, dang. Again, people, 
crowdsource us yeah. for a Toku mm-hmm. no, no Ghibli movie of or series or OVA or manga of whatever. Well, the other thing is. is there are now AI art services that you can train. Um, so you can go on there and say, um, you know, use Midjourney to pull out to create, um, you know, an image of a boy. Do a couple of variations on that, and then send that to the other service and say, "I want you to train on these six images." And it trains on those, and then you say, "Okay, give me something else in that style. Hmm. Give me this character." And it can be consistent now because it now has a consistent style from all those images to base it off of. Okay. Um, and so now you can you can you can say, "I want this in a specific way," um, combined with the fact that version six of Mid Journey now. Um, you can be much more detailed about saying, I want this image, um, but the character is wearing a green hat. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it can do that very accurately. A green hat and a and red gloves. And it will do that very consistently. So we're mm-hmm. slowly getting to that point where you could actually like generate a lot of this stuff through AI. Interesting. Yeah. I'll say because you could you could get a manga out of that if you if yeah. it won't animate it as right. long as you could get like making it one image to the next image and then you can mm-hmm. use the same style you could you could six coma something yeah. together mm-hmm. arguably fast i guess i don't yeah. know, it depends on your all your descriptors right. that you're trying to use mm-hmm. like yeah. half, and of course, half a page of descriptors yeah. like oh. and of course it's not cheap right, right? like you're, you're still paying for the computing time and so forth like you know you, you can't just do it um right, right. but still it's a lot um it's a lot less time yeah um and it's a lot more um you don't deal with the problems you deal with when you deal with artists um as someone who's done this in the past has commissioned comics um it's not easy (laughs) so when am i gonna see that copy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'm I'm, I'm on it it. well i also would wonder for something like you know if you had like shonen jump or something yeah where you could use Using that computing time, taking somebody who's already you know in the field, taking a business yeah. that's already doing the thing, and then this could be you know your back of the of the issue where it's like okay, just take this idea, like run it, and then run it through this, and just give us a little taste and see if people if it strikes anything, mm-hmm. and then this will this will help us to like shorten the process. We don't have to wait for manuscripts to come in, and we don't have to go mm-hmm. through it ourselves. We could just take this, run it through the AI get like a sample kind of thing see if people mm-hmm. bite oh yeah and if people bite then we can go out and say hey you you did great with whatever series that you're running for us in the magazine these are some images mm-hmm. we want you to go run with that to give us a new idea like something like that a very common thing in the industry in general is pulling up basically like source materials um so when you go to the artist you say i want it to look like this Right. right. As you go and you find images of waterfalls and images of inns and images of people, whatever. If you could go to an AI and say, you know, give me exactly the visuals and characters and so forth, all pulled together all at once. I can give them three images and say, you know, yeah. do it exactly like this. Don't montage all these different ideas together. Right. You know, here you go. Precisely this. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, mm. potentials there. I mean, depending on the, how the AI can the AI give you the exact same image modeled from different angles? No. Okay. Because I would say I could see that being fantastic to be like, yeah. okay, give me a boy wearing a hat and glasses, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Give it a view from the front, a view from yeah. the left side, view from the yeah. right side. You could, you know, give yeah. an artist an actual care, a, mm-hmm. an actual complete character model, and be like, yeah. here you go. You can do that. It's just not going to be exactly consistent because the whole point right. is it's collaging from a billion right. different th- places. So it's going to be consistent. But you can go, you can do a, a lot of, you know, uh, things. Well, the other thing is that you can say, give me a character design and it will do, you know, the different views of a head. Okay. Um, so you can kind of just, instead of asking for three different images, you just say, give me a character sheet. Okay. Uh, that, do, that's fantastic. You know, but even there, it's not necessarily like it doesn't know. It doesn't know what a character sheet is. Right. It knows what a thousand character sheets look like. So it's not necessarily going to get it exactly right. So, but again, you know. if you're using it as like as a seed to yeah. an artist who's going to make the thing for you, that would mm-hmm. be great to have on somebody's drawing and to be like, oh, okay, so that that's the character, and now I've got some kind of concept of what they look like. 
in in rather than just inventing it and then showing up at the editor and be like, "What do you think?" Be like, "That sucks." <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't blow my nose on this. <laughs> Amazing, amazing stuff. Indeed. Indeed. Um, yeah, I think that's 2023. In yeah, a nutshell. Pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty been much. It's been a good been year. Quite a year. Yeah. And then moving forward. Yeah, 2024. Looking forward to seeing what we get. Yeah. That's going to be um, for 2024. I'm going to GalaxyCon. In March, cool. and <clears throat> a couple days ago, I was like, you know, I'm gonna go to Triad. I'm gonna Triad Con in Winston cool. Salem. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, I I I did look into Otacon, <laughs> staying at, staying at the Marriott <laughs> Friday night, <laughs> oh, and Saturday right. night, Friday night, mm -hmm. Saturday night. Nothing crazy. Two nights, twenty one hundred dollars. Oh jeez. Yep. So I said. Ah, yeah. Triad is, triad is like a hundred, a hundred and thirty dollars a night. That's a, that's why back in it, I, yeah. I really lucked out back in twenty seventeen. You know, before I had my five year hiatus before going to twenty twenty two. You know, I had that Airbnb for six hundred dollars for yeah. the entire yeah. weekend, and people are spending that much money on at, at the hotels and stuff. Yeah, but, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But well, that, was, that was Otacon this year as well. 2023 yeah. was still like $1,700, $1,800. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. like, ah. yeah. of course, the 2100 was also breakfast every morning, hors d'oeuvres at the concierge level. I figured I'd you know, <laughs> treat myself, and then I'm like, I, I ain't worth it. <laughs> I'm not worth it. Damn me. Well, I'm thinking about doing panels that at uh was it anime usa still have to yeah uh, throw, throw my hat in the mm -hmm. ring on that one mm -hmm. and then you know we're looking at gen con maybe yeah and, and doing something there and yep. um i i was surprised at myself for not, not having actually gone to an actual anime convention last year mm -hmm. so this yeah. year I, this year i want to do that and cool. um you know do do that and I'm hearing good things about anime USA. So, Indeed. Well, and Katzcon is in Katzcon, a month. Yeah. Um, That's right. Which uh, I have some inside scoops on as being uh, um, an interesting year for panels. Oh, um, really? So we'll, we'll we'll see how that goes. Not necessarily in a, the best way. Um, uh, just <laughs> a, a I was, of, was going to say it, it's it has a little <laughs> bit of a reputation. It, it does. A um, little bit. A little bit. You know. So we'll. well I know. Also, out. there's uh, coming up. There's Animate in Raleigh. Oh, yeah, that's like oh. January sixth and seventh. So it's like okay. Yeah, it's it's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that you know, I saw that, and it's like that's a new venture of the same people that run GalaxyCon. Okay. So they've added rather than having sci-fi, anime, and all kinds of things in any, any sort of lump. Um, mm. they've got now they're trying to spin that off and we'll see how that rolls animate Raleigh yeah I remember uh, say they've got enough clout that they can get Shatner from the west coast almost every stinking time they have the galaxy con Richmond and Raleigh some weird reason they don't have him for Richmond this year they've got him for Raleigh though okay. so um, they've got They've got abilities, so I will be very curious to see. This will be the first animate Raleigh that they're going to do. I'll be very curious to see what the a lot of guests. action report is. Yeah, yeah. Just scrolling through the list, they got a lot of voice actors, mm -hmm. a lot of creators. Well, for Galaxy Gone Richmond, they have like Patrick Warburton. They've got Brent Spiner mm -hmm. coming in. They all wow. oh, they have John Cleese this year. Wow, you, you know what I mean? Like Shatner, John Cleese in the same thing, and David Tennant. This wow. was like, you know, I mean, yeah. I'm just sitting there like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, we will see what, what they bring to animate. But do you uh, think they do uh, room clears or do you think they just let see people sit in there? <laughs> oh, he said they, very facetiously and, and yeah, spitefully. They, they, they clear, they clear very yeah. hard because there's a lot yep. of people want to get in to see those people. <laughs> like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
a, a, a good swath of voice actors too, yeah. like um, old school voice actors, modern voice actors, you know, stuff from Western anime, yep. um, whole variety of stuff. That's really cool. Wow. So I am very much looking forward to that review of what people say, how it went. Cause that, I might, you know, th- I haven't gone to a lot of anime cons either. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, wow. Cool. Um, I think that would be a bit of a drive for me, sadly. I was to say we can always. Uh, well, no, you'd be even worse drive to, to Roanoke than to go there. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> go no. all the way this way. God, to go no. All the way that no. way. I used to live in High Point, so yeah, no. Mm-mm. Yeah, I mean that that's doable for me, but it would be a, a good number. Of It'd hours. be a haul. Yeah, it'd be a it haul. would be a haul. Three hours. And, and, I think? But, and go on that oh, was it 80 85 there where is that stretch of 200 miles to south hill where there's like mm, no gas stations no nothing mm, <laughs> yeah. yeah you better fill up before you get on there yeah because there's that one one hardy's in the gas station right before you get onto that on 85 that you have to stop off at because there's nothing else otherwise you're calling triple a and ask it for a gallon of gas <laughs> no mm. at the um um I'm looking to do the uh, Icefield uh, Highway in Canada this year, uh, which is a, a drive yeah. along the Canadian Rockies. Um, wow. Is it actually drive. on ice? Uh, no. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm thinking of ice road truckers. Road truckers, like, right. Hey, yeah, going to Yellowknife. Um, Wait, well, what, and, what about a Yellowknife? Why? Well, and I, I've been to Yellowknife. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, I am also going in August. To be clear, <laughs> uh, but it, it is um, surrounded by ice fields. Basically, you, okay. you can pull off and go to ice fields, and you know they have various um, uh, companies where you can go out on the ice and all that kind of good stuff. Okay. Which, yeah. by the way, you can also do in like July because it's Canada. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's only eight to ten feet of snow versus like exactly. <laughs> where it is uh, like hot. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh, much. Nice. Um, but that is. Um, that is one of those things where there's like, uh, it's like th- there's you, know, you you want to gas up before you head out because there's <laughs> yeah. not a lot of like civilization between some of these yeah. stopping points. You know, you got to be a little little more careful than you might otherwise be. Why is the back of the van riding so low, Brent? Oh, that's the two fifty five gallon drums of high test <laughs> gas I got in the back. <laughs> Um, I can go ten thousand miles or, without ever stopping. <laughs> or, or you could be right, like Rush, as Giddy Lee told the story, where they got so baked that they went in the wrong direction for three hundred miles, and oh. before they realized and had to turn around and <laughs> make it to the gig. Sounds right. <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, I I uh, I fly into Calgary, and I was looking because the big thing in Calgary is the Calgary Stampede. Uh, okay. With, which is a Wild West themed get together. So rodeos and 4-H clubs and all that kind of stuff, which has been running since I believe 1907. Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah. Over a hundred years. Um, there were some, you know, uh, sure. yeah. you know, years where it didn't happen because of, you know, world wars and such. Yeah. I was going to say uh, world war one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, uh, this the, the Calgary Stampede gets over a million visitors a year. Damn, it is unbelievable. Uh, it is one of the one of the big events in the, in that area. Um, you know, bring your cowboy boots. Uh, you know, it's the whole nine yards. Wow. It's very much uh, one, one of those uh, crazy things. I am not going. Oh. <laughs> well, you I, get I thought about a ten-gallon hat and get the cowboy exactly. boots and a six-shooter without a gun, but it's still the six-shooter thing going on there. I don't want my first experience of Calgary trying to get around, trying to rent a car, trying to do oh, all that yeah. during the their busiest weekend of, of the year, where there are a million other people in town. <laughs> so that'll be my yeah. second time. That'll be my second trip. Mm. <laughs> The only thing you can rent is a moose. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The moose wants to bit my sister. Um, it can be pretty nasty. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was uh, that would that would be quite the experience, I think. Yes, you go see the site of the what the 1982 Olympic Winter Olympics or something like that. I can't remember. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 It, yeah. At some point, it was in Calgary. Yeah. Um, I have a friend who's gone to Burning Man. 
uh, Kitamono. I, I, I might hit him up at some point, see if I can go with him. That'd be fun. Burning Man. Burning That's me man. after I've been walking out in the sun without a hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said the, the experience is kind of what you'd expect. You know? Well, if you're going to go to Co Burning Man, are you going to go to Coachella as well? Is that That's a thing, right? No. That, that's, that's the <laughs> it is the thing. That, that, yeah, that's, that's what the, the kids do these days, right? <laughs> is it Burning Man kids too? <laughs> no, actually. Um, it's, it's all old hippies, apparently. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Actually, what it is, is it's, it's a bunch. Of, it, it actually what it is is it's a bunch of old police officers ready to retire, looking for missing young girls, and then getting <laughs> burned alive inside the, 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 the Burning Man. Well, or, or it could be that just, way, that or, way, or, 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 or it could be Nicholas Cage screaming, "The bees are in my eyes!" Over, oh. over again for ten hours. And I, you know. The bees are in my mouth. What? <laughs> I'm hearing popping noises outside. Yeah, yeah, there. me too. Yeah. The, the revelers have begun. Indeed. Indeed. They've been drinking for hours, and the fact that they've only just started to set off explosives is a credit to their to their <laughs> um, um, the fortitude and, and public mm -hmm. civic awareness. Yeah. Um, and yeah, kind of, it's, it, apparently Burning Man is one of those things where, yes, you will find people who are legitimately going out there to, you know, let loose and chill out for you know right, a couple of days yeah. and just kind of enjoy their time. But unfortunately, it has gotten to the point where it has attracted a lot of people who are there to be there and to be seen to have gone to Burning Man and yeah. or are there because they want spiritual enlightenment in the weekend. It's like, ah, uh, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, taking uh -huh. selfies all day, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and so it's not quite the way it used to. And it, again, one of those things where it's just it's been around for long enough. It's been like that for long enough. That's a wide swath. Yeah, it's not just mm -hmm. random people. So, God, but he said it's still fun. Like, yeah. yeah, it's worth doing. Just you know, don't expect it to be the uh, 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 you know what it was. Yeah, it's not a meme. Exactly, it's a meme. <clears throat> See, so that's yeah. why I just I'll, I'll take the cruise that you sail into international waters, and then you can have a monkey knife fight. And, you there know. we are. <laughs> <laughs> because so the rules don't apply. Exactly. <laughs> And obviously joking, yeah. I don't want monkeys to have a knife fight. <laughs> Just flinging poo at un un unobservant tourists is good Here enough. Here at Monkey Knife Fight Studios, we, uh... <laughs> we don't condone monkey knife fighting. Now, on to monkey knife fighting. What? <laughs> Come on. We hate this. Now, 30 hours of this. <laughs> <laughs> we, we find this abhorrent, but... morality our... of this, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Um, cool. I think that'll do it for tonight. All right. Nice. Yeah. That it was is fun. Nice to be back into the stream. Indeed. Yes. So <laughs> next week. I'm sorry. Gonna... <laughs> back into the stream. I'm sorry. My, I just went there for. <laughs> back just don't cross the stream, Steve. No, okay. Yeah, okay. Got it. Um, so, no, yeah, exactly. Like underground Pokemon fights. Um, <laughs> The um, so we'll be back next week with the news and uh, a bunch of other fun stuff like that. Um, so we'll be streaming that next week. I'll try to see if I can't fix the um, Discord chat issue here on the streaming. Know what's going on there? Um, the following week, TBD, uh, we're going to be doing a retreat next weekend. So we're going to see kind of what we can do in terms of scheduling for that. Um, and then uh, following on the the following week. Will be our seasonal anime preview. <laughs> so you got that coming up too. So a lot of fun stuff coming up. Um, yeah, I three hour stream is fun. Um, I I enjoyed that, but uh, probably will not be three hours um, uh, in general moving forward. Um, more <laughs> like nine. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we had to get back into the flow of things. Yeah, exactly. Get things doing the, doing stuff mm -hmm. again. It's nine yeah. hours of me. Just staring, touching the screen, huh? What you doing in there? Hi. What's going on? Hi. Hey, I see up? you. I see you. Uh huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Just nine hours of this. Oh God. No. <laughs> <laughs> and see, now that we we've got this thing going on, it you could show that. Yeah. We can't just like. Oh, it'd be yeah. like perfect blue that scene where everybody's like, "What are you talking mm -hmm. about?" Like, no, shut. <laughs> actually, shit. actually, next week. Actually, next week. Oh no. <laughs> Nine hours of death toilet. Death toilet. 
Oh, it's death geez. toilet bound Hanukkah cone. <laughs> <laughs> what? Made by Hayao Miyazaki. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring kids with chainsaws. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much. This has been awesome. We will see you all next week for news and all the stuff. Have a great one, guys. See ya. Sayonara. Oh, you'll see you